Hi guys, Emma here for another Tabby Thoth Talk. Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about getting started and about a couple of books that were really helpful to me when I started with Thoth Tarot. I still return to them now, even quite frequently, to be fair. The first one is the Thoth Companion by Michael Snuffy. Um, it's quite accessible this one with the language so it isn't really really difficult to read or reads really bizarrely or strangely so that one was really helpful to start to understand the symbols a little bit more and some of those concepts within Thoth itself and the other book is the book of Sashet which is actually a guidebook to the Rosetta Tarot, which is by M. M. Maline. Her work is influenced by the Book of Thoth and Thoth Tarot, and her website is a treasure trove of wonderfulness. Um, as you can see, I am starting to lose the pages in here now. I've um, flipped through it that much and what have you. She is based in, in the US, so postage can be quite expensive to get stuff over into the UK, for example. But it's so worth the investment. Certainly with the Book of Sashet, um, what I got out of this book is understanding the relationship between the cards and how they interact with each other as well as the concepts of the Tree of Life and Kabbalah and the astrology. Those were very new to me coming into starting with Thoth and this book really really made a difference for me in that respect. Give them a go. Check out I'm Emmeline's website, that is tabulamundi.com and she also runs a podcast, it's ended now but it's still available, you can find it on Patreon and that is Fortune's Wheelhouse which is really great for the Kabbalistic and astrological concepts behind the deck as well. Um, Check it out. Fabulous.